We just arrived to the lake, packing up the gear, getting ready to head out on the sleds. At my hut. We're going for some laker and whitefish today. Frank's opening up the trailer with all the gear. Wish us luck. Here we go. I got one. Oh yeah. Look at that thing. I don't know if you can hear it. There is my fish. My limit of white fish. One big boy and one somewhat small. Fish have been pretty active today. Got our limit pretty quick. Um, got them on non-traditional lures, I would say. And uh, there is some people out here, but I'm just gonna be quiet for a minute and listen to it. We had one ice quake roll through and boy was it loud. And you can tell it was going right across the lake. It was super, super loud. Thanks to uh, Buddy, let me, his heater for a bit. I'll show you what happened to mine. Um, pretty disappointed with that. Never had that happen before. The ceramic face on it exploded. So, I don't know how that happened. So, I was fishing. This happened. The ceramic plate just totally exploded. What, what's the deal with that? Has anyone had that ever happen to them? I'm shocked. Two beauty whitefish. Yeah. It's gonna make for some good eating. This guy is probably about 17 and a half inches. And he is, if that's 15, Plus 11, wow nice, 26 inches, that's a good size fish. We did cross two pretty sizable pressure cracks on the way out. We found a safe way around it, but you know, I don't know. They're pretty bad out here this year, you know. Before I set up, this crack right here was not there. and. I don't know, we've had a couple earthquake-like events at this We made it back. Not bad at all. People parked on the ice, lots of people. I decided not to, I'd rather not. Parked right there. I'm good. We're gonna load them up. Got some good fish. Till next time. This thing is a donkey. Oh yeah, he's in the hut. What's that? Oh yeah. Oh. Yeah.
Got another one, baby. Another aggressive whitefish. Yeah. Uh -huh.